Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the Bitsy Jam, a secret. Uh, the Bitsy Jam is a monthly game jam, each month with a different theme. It challenges developers to use the Bitsy engine to then make a game around that theme, and this month's theme is secret. I'll be playing all of the games that are entered this jam, about 10 per video. Links to the individual games uh, will be in the description. I'll be playing them for a minute each, so you can check them out further afterwards. All of my info is also in the description, including links to my Twitter, my Patreon, and loads of other places so feel free to check me out and if you like my work maybe support me thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting and at the end there'll probably be an article of my favorites all right next we're playing put my gun down objective kill the guy who invented the time machine to keep the secret away from everyone you put your gun down naked men you're stupid oh well i shot him so oh yeah i can go what a lovely view. I'm going to get rid of the body and go swimming. Put your gun down, naked man. You're stupid. Oh, this just goes on infinitely. Well, that was easy. What a lovely view. I'm going to go swimming. Do I get rid of the body? There's just infinitely loops. What an interesting, interesting concept. The naked man saying you're stupid because that's just that's that's like that is me like I could. Oh. Next. We're playing the underwater temple of truth. Can you escape before you too are left unable to speak the truth? Our guards have been hit by an ancient curse. I guess a lying curse. There is a secret to this place, stranger. Only one of them remains the virtue of honesty. I know nothing about the exits, but I know this. The guard at the second exit speaks no truth. I am nearest to the exit. The guard opposite me speaks to confuse you. This door, stranger, is the way home. You can trust the guard opposite me. Trust the guard of door one, stranger, for she knows the way to salvation. Well, I think this is door one. Who dares to disturb my sleep? I curse you to the end of your days. You know, I wouldn't have to disturb your sleep if you didn't curse all of us that we lied. Unfortunately, you drowned it before you can make it to the surface. Huh. Well, you'll have to find out for yourself if the third exit takes you out. Next. We're playing the great song. They say this place calls one must heed. One this place calls one must heed. I wouldn't know. I was sent here. Welcome, pilgrim. I trust your journey was not too arduous. We will begin the great song shortly. Our song grows stronger. The great feast draws near. The great feast will be our redemption. The unbelievers will not be so rewarded. You should visit the library while we wait for the great song. To begin, it's just through here. I'm thankful the authority changed its policy on our group. They know nothing of the important work we do here. The shelves are heavy with ancient dusty tombs, tomes, alongside an implausible smattering of contemporary academic texts. One of these catches my eye, interstellar communication networks. Spiss. I'm afraid you are not on my list of those permitted in the lower levels. You should return to the Great Hall. Got it. I did just get here. I'm hoping to explore the lower levels after the great song. Uh, many tunnels from the original excavation still remain. They will hear us tonight. The aliens. Isn't it magnificent? Blessed be the forefather who built this great temple all those years ago so that we may still worship it today. I touch the artifact. It is cold, smooth, and unknowable. In that moment, I see everything and comprehend nothing. I've touched it. This mural depicts robbed figure, robed figures sharing a feast with strange creatures. A river of blood flows past the window. That doesn't actually sound good. Like, in a trance-like state, they chant, inintelligible as one. The artifact hums and pulses. Static fills the air. They all say the same thing. Okay, let's go in. Oh, we can't go in. This is really strange, but I kind of really like it. Let's go this way. I want to go in the ship. Oh, wait, is this. 
This monitoring equipment is hooked up to the base of the artifact. I'm no expert, but these readings suggest that the thing is transmitting some sort of signal, a powerful one, which also appears to be the perfect time to be in perfect time with their chanting. Hmm. Very curious. Next. We're playing Secret Agent Bob. Hello, Secret Agent Bob. Your mission is to go as an undercover member of the Bad Man Gang and gain intel to take them down. And before you ask, I am mysterious and will not return this chair around. And will not turn this chair around. Oh, yeah. Oh, you chair. I thought you were just a very tall person with a big butt, but you're definitely a chair, actually. Looks like a bunch of guns. <laughs> Whoa, Bob, that can't be good. Let me guess. Some more guns. They seem like a ruthless gang. Who sent you? I need answers now. Oh, sorry about that. I'm forgetting I am not a gang leader anymore, and I still need to tidy up those bombs and guns all over the place. I know you're a secret agent, and that you have come to take us in. But we have left vi the violence behind us and are now a peaceful youth group. If you haven't already checked out our dance classes on the opposite side of the entrance, otherwise you can leave just through the door behind me. All right, well, let's go look at the dance class. Might be a trap, might be a trap. Hi, they are dancing. You interrupted my dancing class. How dare you? One, two, three, four, jump. Two, three, four. Come on, guys. We are busy. Not everything in this gang is all illegal, you know. Aw. Gangs have fun times, too. Yeah. I don't think that slogan will catch on. Alright, let's tell Chair that we couldn't do it. They're a youth group now, Chair. So what did you find for me about the gang of secret agent? What did you find about me? What did you find for me about the gang, secret agent Bob? What you say they are now a peaceful youth group? Well, I have been looking for one for quite a while. Thanks, secret agent Bob. You've been promoted to leader of this organization as I am joining that group. The exit is just over there. Bye. Well, that was a lot of turns of events. Well done. You're now the leader of the secret agent organization, SAO, and you've discovered the truth about the bad man gang. Hopefully, you enjoy this short, silly game. It was indeed silly, it was indeed short, and I did indeed enjoy it. Enjoy it. Wow, I can speak today, I promise. Next. <laughs> We're playing Secret Light. Alright, it's made by... I, I'm not going to pronounce their names right. Fahrenheit and Kaidrang? Hmm. I heard that deep inside the cave there's a shining stone which has the power to grant you any wish. I'm a scientist, you see. I dropped my quadratic lantern 3000x deluxe in that cave's pond. Would you get it for me? Thanks, mate. <laughs> is this a pond? Oh, wait, is this a pond? I can't actually enter the pond, so. There are stories that inside this cave there's a stone from the moon. It shines so bright, it shows the truth about life itself. Don't trust these people, dude. They're all mad. What's really inside the cave isn't a magic chicken nugget. <laughs> it's a magic chicken nugget. They say it's delicious. Alright, let's go in the cave. Like, I don't know how to get that guy's light for him, and also, meh. Up, down, left, right. Up. I'm gonna follow that. Up. The answer is above where all begins. Up, down. Yeah, but it won't up, down. Excuse me? I've messed up. I was gonna say it won't up, down, left, right, bring me back to the same place, but the answer was no. Because the world is full of magic. And we went the wrong way. It's a game. Ooh. I mean, yes, it's all a game, but was there a puzzle there? Was what I was looking to ask. Oh, I messed up. I should have done what it said. I should have gone up, down, left, right. Hmm. I don't really know where to go from here. I kind of wanted to find that magic chicken nugget. Next. We're playing Grab Over Manor. Two years ago today, you were found guilty of breaking the ceasefire between the New Re Republic and the rebels at a peaceful village, Judah. You were sentenced to 108 years. They had a written confession. That was the first time you had ever heard of the rebellion. You were tortured for six months in the fires of that prison. An unbending will was for forged in you. Never breaking, you joined some rebels to escape the prison. 
When you crawled out of that hole, the country had been ravaged by a short, brutal civil war. The nation was in chaos. The rebels would keep you safe, but you have to clear your name. With the help of a distant rebel spy, you have an invitation to a party among the political elite hosted by the very man who framed you. Your goal, infiltrate the party, blend in, enjoy the high-quality seafood, and find any connections between Mr. Grabover and the incident at Judah. Pro tip, talk to everyone and investigate everything in a room before leaving. You might miss something. In the rain soaked dink, you read, in celebration of the recent victories at Wexford and Love Lavin, you are cordially invited to a night of festivities. The party is based around a major victory. Got it. The Grover Manor just ahead. It's been walking for over a mile in the rain. You'd think the rebels could spare a car. I'm going to be all wet when I get to the party. Welcome to the Grove Over Manor, the site of the victories for the Republic since the medieval seeds that formed our nation, now a grand luxury and the jewel of civilization. The propaganda is weak, but at least it stopped raining. I'm also going to touch this. I can't touch that. Okay. Lots of people here. Sorry, sir. Garden's closed. Will we set up? All right. Nikki, hello there, good fellow. You look soaked. Head on inside. The party started. Unfortunately, this is not Mr. Gabover, and the case is still open. I should take his advice and head inside. Ah. Bose bro one. This way, sir. Party's inside. Excuse me, but is the host, Mr. Gabover, present? I have a gift for him. Because, of course, sir, you'll find him among the guests. Sorry, the garden's... Wow, there's a big garden. Okay, big garden. Got it. Bro, cause bro too. I'll take your coat, sir. Enjoy the party. Thank you kindly. Ah, uh, priv. Sure is cold out there. I, I feel fine myself. Are you not priv? Where is your renowned wife? Vel. Priv. Oh, she's sick. Nearly passed from the flu, I'm afraid. That gun frame in the large coat is hauntingly uncanny. Please, sir, I will keep the coat safe. I'm deathly allergic to even the slightest chill. Touch that silvery coat and I'll try you for attempted murder. Uh, this way to the dining hall, sir. Dinner is just about ready. Make sure to mingle first, though. Yeah, reminding me to talk to everyone. I think that the story behind this is quite developed for a little bitsy game, and I like it. Next. We're playing one leaf after another. This is my cat. The statue is over 1,000 years old. It's an old statue. This is my parents' bed. Right now they are in the army. Okay. I planted the tree at the beginning of the summer. Now it's over. It's grown quite a bit. Cave town. All right, let's check out the grave first. This was the grave for my sister. She died from the war. Oh. Lots of graves. Hey, kiddo, there's a letter at the post office for you. Okay. Karen lost in the caves. Ever said to face a monster, but we all know that's not true. Kenny hung himself because of abuse. Okay. Jeff killed by friendly fire in the war. Soul killed by a cat with a secret. Hmm. With a secret, you say. This is the post office. This is my post office box. As you read the letter, you find that your parents died in the war. They go on saying they're sorry for your loss. Later that day, you were found dead out inside of the post office. Wow! That was a really sad, really quick ending. Oh, wait, there's like a, a noose there and everything. Knowing your parents will never come back after the war, you hung yourself to join them. What the heck? This is like really... Uh, well, let's go to the caves. Because I don't want to die. Like... <sighs> okay, cool. Oh, I did not see you there. Did you fall down too? I fell down two days ago and I've not found my way out. It seems to be the lost kid's makeshift bed. Hello, this is Cameo. This is a Cameo. Oh, okay. There's actually those like little face people in a different game. I think I'm in the wrong game. Okay. Hey, look, it's a tree. Alright. Hello, I see you found the portal I made. It was supposed to help people get out of the caves, but you're the first to survive. Okay, can you, what? As you walk outside, you feel your skin starting to burn, fall to the ground. You are happy for death. 
You are going to meet your parents then. Wow, no matter what you die. Next. We're playing Jessica's Bunny. Right, it's my box. It's my desk. Yeah, it's smaller than my box, I know. Um, so this game is a bit cut off. I don't know why they've chosen this size. It's in browser, so I don't know. My bed, I like to jump on it. It's a pumpkin. Okay, it must be like Halloween time. Oh, the door is locked. Washing machine. Yeah, it's an 8-bit game. What do you expect? Okay. Sorry. Oh, I love books. I love the TV. Free cartoons for everyone. Oh, I grabbed a key, but it... See, I don't think I can play further because I'm off the screen and I don't know where I am. And there isn't a way to full screen this that I see. Uh, maybe if I, like, if I control make the page bigger. Nope. That's not making it more or less in focus. I don't know. I was very excited to play this game. It sounds adorable. Um, but it's the developer's first Bitsy game, and I guess they didn't understand how to make it the right size on the Itch.io page when putting it up on Itch, um, unfortunately. But yeah, hopefully they enter the next game jam, um, the next Bitsy jam next month, and we get to see their game then. Next. We're playing Secret of the Temple, which we have to play in full screen, because if not, it's cut off. Can I tell you a secret? Do you know what my favorite thing to do is in Minecraft? I love to build br brown bi bricks in Minecraft. Building bricks with Minecraft is the best thing and the most amount of fun you can have playing an app. Okay. You died. What? Did you think you could walk over the fire like that in an RPG overworld? Speaking of which, did you ever stop to think how many towns you've trampled playing Final Fantasy? I've not played Final Fantasy. Also, I thought that was a hat. Screw this Lara Croft nonsense, like I'm going to go let this Hornet's ticket go to the waste over a hidden treasure that might not even exist. This is interesting. Let's go in the temple. I fell down all these stairs. Ugh, my everything hurts. I warned you about stairs, bro. I told you, dog. There's a naked statue in your next room. If you enter, your parents will be telepath telepathically formed of this dirty inactivity and judge you harshly. You've been warned. I don't mind. The thing we didn't say is there were human breasts. What? Um, so you're saying you didn't tell me that there were human breasts? Cause they don't look like human breasts, just saying. Thing is we didn't- oh, we didn't say there were human breasts. Okay. This is a weird game. Next. We're playing Les Neuf Chambres. Uh, Entree. Keyboard tip, tap the keys instead of holding them down. Beyond this exit, there are nine rooms. Some rooms are, hid are hiding something, some rooms are not. It is your duty to find a way to escape all nine rooms. There are only three ways to escape. Good luck. Be careful not to get lost. So I'm going to go around and just check this room because I feel like it, if I was designing a game, I would make this room one of the three ways to get out. You know? But as it turns out, I didn't design this game, so... Un. There are three types of walls in the nine rooms, A, B, and C. Wall A is a standard wall, you can see it. Wall B is a hidden wall to prevent walking behind wall A. The entrance doesn't need wall Bs. You know why? Because it only has a one-way exit as opposed to a two-way. I don't know what wall C does, but I know it exists. I'm going to pretend that made sense in my head because I, it didn't. Um, Quartre. Some escape the nine rooms by passing through the three walls. How is it possible? Perhaps they are stronger than we think, or perhaps the nine rooms are more flawed than we think. Sep. This is the seventh room. Hey, the one who created the nine rooms, do you know what their favorite number is? It's seven. Hoot. Wall C? It's not really a wall. It looks like a wall, but it isn't. No, you won't find it in this room. Well, now you've told me, and now I'm not sure, so... Okay. Hef. Imagine if we had two extra days added to standard year. I'd be so happy if we had two days. If we just had more time. If people just had more time generally. It's been a large amount of my uh, time worrying about time. The nine rooms weakness is in the mouse. If used correctly, the tool can cause the walls to surrender. We warn them once and even twice, but some walls still take it. We do not understand the rebellious nature. Oh, yeah, they're they talking about without the revolution, there would be more order and peace. Are they talking about, like, when you click in this game, sometimes it, like, glitches. Like, you can just click through stuff. But at the beginning, it told me not to use my mouse, so I was trying not to. 
Once someone came into this room, left, and never came back. I suppose they escaped somehow. I don't know. See, like, that's highlighted because I clicked there. I tried clicking the walls, but it didn't work. No one knows why the nine chambers exist. What does it do? Nothing, really. I think this this game, this is my prediction. This game lies, so it's telling me that there are all these other walls, but I don't think there actually is. That's just my prediction. Next. <laughs>